Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about new kit from Brand Gun. It is molded in 170 second scale and copies what Sikors KVS-300. So you can see this aircraft here. It's a resin construction kit of US helicopters written here. So now we have a commercial sample on our table and we will be able to check it closer. First of all box is not that huge. Here you can see comparison with my hand and then on the side we just have the barcode and that's pretty much all there is no information whatsoever now it's just a matter of opening it and checking what is hidden inside but first of all I will have to cut through this red tape actually I will need knife because with scissors it will be quite a long story to do okay just give me a second in the meantime let me remind you that we have a um, help or donate button on our website so you can help us by pressing it and choosing the amount you would like to send us. It's done via PayPal so it should be quite easy and safe and of course you decide how much you will get for the new photo and video equipment or new kits. So here is what we have inside. It's a 170 second scale kit so it's not that huge as you can see on these parts and also we have P ports, several actually P threads we are going to check them one by one and see what is interesting here. So first of all, this resin and plastic parts are combined into one plastic bag. So just give me a second. We will be checking them one by one. First of all, I would like to start with this, now uh, let's say nose section. Let's zoom in a bit more. It is molded as one piece element and note that here we do not have anything so you have to install here the uh, tail section out of P ports and it might be a bit tedious work because you will have to align all this stuff together but otherwise it's not that difficult of course you will have to cut off this resin base but that's pretty much all you have to do here. Next we go on with plastic ports so plastic ports include these now, blades which are molded as one piece elements. There is no surprise in this because this is a 170 second scale kit. It would be strange to see something different. Next we go on with these pontons. So they are molded as one piece elements and they look quite convincing. I can bring them closer. One of them because they are absolutely identical. Here it is. I mean just look how all these, uh, let's see, canvas bumps are replicated it looks really nice so it's just a matter of careful painting and you will have a more or less convincing result okay two parts next we go on with some cockpit elements or internal elements so here you can see this uh, resin base with pilot seat also with some internal elements i'm not even sure where they will go so we will have to check the assembly manual next we have these large rods and frankly speaking I'm not even sure where they will go so again it's a matter of checking the assembly manual maybe for the landing gear because this aircraft also needs landing gear I guess next we go on with landing gear wheel here it is quite simple this one I guess that's the engine as you can see it's a um, two tensioners together with belt maybe camera will focus and you will see yes now you should be able to see it i really like how it is replicated i mean this belt looks really convincing so it's just a, a matter of separation separating this part of the base and you'll be good to go next we go on with engine here it is single piece part of course you have to delete the resin flash next we have another landing gear wheel and struts and one more thing here, I guess these, these are control elements, but again, we'll have to consult the assembly manual. But that's not all, because, I mean, from the first side, it might look like a simple kit, but nope, we have here P parts. So actually, P parts will help us get a bit more out of this resin plastic combo. So just give me a second. First of all here we have the, uh, I guess that's the tail section, of course it will have to be bent into the boxy shape, we also have some of the internal elements and external panels, and this P thread is unpainted so basically you can just cover it with primer and paint it into the necessary shape. Next we go on with another PE thread, so here it is, I'm not sure why they are slightly bent, as you can see they arrived to me in this 
circle or shape let's say so just give me a second to remove another one and I will show it to you in a moment okay so first of all I would like to show you the decal sheet and also the small film for the dashboard or for the instrument panel and also for the windscreen that's quite a funny stuff but printing quality of the decals looks okay I would say and as you can see it comes from extra tech so next we have the P fret as I said before just give me a second here it is more various ports some of them are really tiny so here you have some fun installing all this stuff with sharp tweezers otherwise it will be almost impossible to get them into the right spot so keep it in mind and of course we have assembly manual because otherwise it would be difficult to guess where to get all these parts so here you can see it it is printed in black and white we have short history note parts map then we continue with nose area we assemble the cockpit Part and we install it into the fuselage, let's say fuselage. Next here we assemble the tail section and then we start to work on the main engine. Here we assemble the propeller or rotor. We install various P parts here and then you continue with various external elements for the aircraft. Then we install engine gear and here on the last page you can see installation of those pontons so again you have to install this P port here because it will be actually a holding um, this ponton in place well holding just like on the real aircraft and here you can see two marking options but obviously nobody limits you only to those two because you can replicate something different if you would like to but this is definitely not a kit for beginner it's really highly detailed out of the box you don't have to resort to any additional things so it's just a matter of careful assembly and it will require some experience from you of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video and you would like to help us and support us press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye